Hi everyone, this marks the last video with this dry gin refrigerator because I decided to upgrade and retire this one. It still works. Uh, I'm going to show you my settings for optimal work in a second. Um, and uh, based on the experiments I did over the three years I ran it uh, using my own uh, wireless uh, thermometer and humidity measurement um, that I connected with my home automation to send me alerts and to log all the data. Uh, I have two sensors, one inside the box. I reuse the box uh, uh, and then I put additional sensor on the outside um, that I've placed in, in different locations uh, over time with the refrigerator. But I'm gonna show you how at the end I was running it. And uh, also I'm excited to show you my new setup. So let's dig into it. The picture you're seeing here on the on the screen is the the settings the, the way I had the refrigerator running uh, at the very end. On the left hand side, obviously, um, it's a picture of the what's being dry at the time, and it has a light that turns on automatically when I navigate to the page. At the bottom of the left hand side, um, is uh, what's being dry at that time. On the right hand side, you have a 24 hour log. Uh, for the temperature at the top as well as the humidity at the bottom and in the middle is the current temperature at the, at the time for the sensors and any time uh, the sensors will go in the red for any reason uh, I will get immediate notification um, and I had early warnings for, for the yellow uh, to give me heads up as I played with the settings I noticed that um, if I try to have the temperature below 38 degrees I ran into uh, issues where the couple of times the probe actually uh, froze and the uh, refrigerator thought the temperature was around 34 degrees, um, but uh, the temperature was way above 40. It, it got uh, well into the 50s. So a couple of times I had to stop what I was dry aging and let it defrost and, and deal uh, with that. So. I don't recommend setting the temperatures at 35, even 36, honestly, based on that, but uh, your luck might vary uh, with, with the parts you have um, for your refrigerator. So for mine, I found out by the end, setting it at 38 gave me much better performance. As you can see from the uh, log up top, uh, the temperatures actually stayed below 40 uh, for the most part. Um, so, um, that, that's the way I was running it at the end, and it seemed to uh, do much better. Um, I honestly had fun three years with it, but um, I'm done. Um, just not enough uh, space for what I want to do. <laughs> I've, I'm trying to um, experiment um, more and more. So let me show you the new setup. So this is the new setup. I've been running it for about a month now. I'm extremely happy with it. Uh, and. Uh, I'll probably post some more videos now of the different cuts of meat I'm driving here and I'm running some experiments making sausages with the pellicles from the, the dry aging. So looking forward to that and I'll see you next video.